guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are gonna be doing a morning pet routine. I haven't filmed one of these videos in an extremely long time, so I thought that I would show you guys my routine for every morning when I very first wake up. This is pretty much gonna be what I do every single day. Obviously, no two days are exactly alike. Some animals eat every other day, like Koa, but we are gonna be feeding him today, since it is feed day for him. Also, lemon and the hermit crabs and the crickets, they eat at nighttime, but for the most part, I do feed the animals in the morning or early afternoon. All of my other animals are fed in the afternoon, so don't worry. Don't worry about them not getting fed. So that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Obviously, no two days are exactly the same, but this is just a typical morning for me, so I thought that I would document it and film it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing that I do in the morning is I go in the living room, and I see my pups. Good morning. Good morning, pup. Good morning. You got your toy? You go pee-pee. Go pee pee, come on, come on, go pee pee. Come on, pee pee. So I let the dogs out to go to the bathroom. After letting the dogs go to the bathroom, we go into the pet room. When I very first come in the pet room in the mornings, I normally let the cats out, but they're not in here today. Patrick is really good about letting the cats out for me every morning before I even get up because he gets up earlier than I do typically. So the cats aren't in here this morning, but normally I would let them out first and foremost, and then I would go and turn the tortoise and turtle's light on. As you can see, it's early morning. So the first thing I do when I go in my pet room is this is where I'm gonna check all of the tank animals. First thing I'll do is I'll come over and I will turn Koa's light on. Good morning. Good morning, Toe. Good morning, Toto. I see you. You can see he's buried here at the corner of his water bowl sleeping. And as you can see, he needs new water and food, so we will be doing that too after we check on the other animals. Then we come over to Blue's enclosure and we turn on his light for the morning. While their bulbs heat and kind of warm up, you'll see them slowly make their way out. He's probably still sleeping. We can look in here. Good morning, Blue. He's just waking up, so we'll let this warm up and then he'll end up wandering out. And then we of course have to feed him too. And then we usually go in and I spot clean his enclosure because there's lots of little pieces of grass and things from the day before. So we will spot clean that as well. Then we come over here and we check Bodhi's enclosure. He is probably gonna need new food and water. So you can see yesterday's food for Bodhi is dried out and cracked and gross. So we are gonna be replacing that with some fresh. I'm gonna give him some Rapashi today. And then we will just give his tank a really good spray down. Now obviously this is just a morning routine so we're not going to be cleaning any enclosures or tanks today. Those types of things get spaced out over time as needed. Bodhi's tank is actually pretty clean. I just cleaned it about two or three weeks ago but I will go in and spot clean and wipe down the glasses if needed. But you can see the glass is really clear right now so he is good to go. Next we have the hermit crabs food and waters. As you can see they really need to be replaced so we are going to take those and rinse them out and give them fresh. Next we have Moo. So I come over and I check Moo's food. As you can see, she's got some paper in here and most of her food is actually gone and she has no more Oxbow either. So we're gonna be emptying this out and giving her some fresh. So I usually do one or two scoops of her Burgess. Then I do a little bit of her oatmeal and then I give her a few Oxbow pellets. Now you guys actually have been saying in the comments that Oxbow pellets don't have a lot of nutrition for hamsters and you're right, it is mostly hay, but I've mentioned in several videos past if you guys go back and watch my old hamster videos then you will see that I've tried other pellets with Moo and she will not eat them. Oxbow pellets are the only pellets that she will actually eat so I continue to give them to her. They are not bad for hamsters so you guys don't have to tell me that. They just don't have as many nutrients as say Missouri rat pellets or something like that but she does love them and she will not take any other type of pellet or lab block so those are the ones that I give her and then she still has some of her millet in here so I'm not going to empty that out. I'll just spot clean some of the paper out of there for her and that's pretty much it. She's good on millet. And then of course we check Moo's water. As you can see she only has half a bottle so we are going to go on and top that off for her. Now that Moo has fresh water and food she is good. Then I come down here and I check on lemon. Obviously you can see she's got lots of humidity but her water is dirty so we are going to be cleaning out her water. Now lemon usually eats at nighttime, so I'm not going to be feeding her or doing her crickets 
nitrates or anything like that. I don't feed lemon in the morning times ever because she's obviously buried and hidden. As you can see, she is hidden and buried, so she's not gonna be eating right now anyway, but her water does need to be clean. Okay, her water is cleaned out, and then I will come back and feed her tonight. So that is it for Lemon, Moo, and Bodhi. So now we will go and feed Koa and get all of his worms and food. And we also have to go outside and gather all of the tortoises' food, which I do every single morning first thing because he's usually ready to eat as soon as he gets warmed up by the light. So we're just gonna gather up some of this large clover. So I'm just picking some of the tortoises' food. We're gonna get some clover and some dandelion weeds and things, and then we are gonna throw them in here and rinse them off really well so that he can eat for the day. And yes, I do this every single morning. He really loves clover, so I make sure to get him a lot. You wanna wake up and eat, Toto? Your food is over there. Go get it. So after I give Koa his food, it takes him a while to come around. <laughs> Are you gonna come out and eat? Good boy, Koa. Eat your worms, please, before they escape. Mommy would really appreciate that. <laughs> so you guys can see I have his big slate in here now. This is what he eats on and also grinds his nails down on. So after we rinse off all of his weeds and greens, we just throw him onto the slate and he will go to town. He really loves his food and he eats a lot. After we give it like a really good rinse in the water, you know, just to get off any ickiness or bugs or anything. All right, bud. There's your food, yum. I usually do a pretty good helping of calcium, but I don't give it to them every single day, but we will be giving them calcium tomorrow on their food. Eat your food, bud. This is my favorite part, just sitting and watching him eat because he loves his food. He is so cute. Oh, I love him so much. And he loves his food. <laughs> I could just sit here and watch him all day. Seriously. You such a good boy, boo-boo. You guys want to see something funny that I'm doing right now? I do it every morning too, so I guess I'm going to include it in this video. It's going to be kind of hard to do with the camera in my hand, but I'm going to try. So this is actually Blue's cuttlefish, and it's meant for him to get calcium and also trim his beak on. Like, turtles and tortoises typically like to like gnaw on them. He apparently has never had a cuttlefish before, so he isn't chewing on it, and I really want him to. So something I've actually been doing is I take one of his dandelions, and I've actually been putting it right on the tip of the cuttlefish. And guys, I kid you not, I'm doing this every single morning, so I'll try and show you if he'll do it. So I'm taking his dandelion and I hold it like this on the tip of the cuttlefish. And then I offer it to him like this. So I hold it and I trick him into biting the cuttlefish. <laughs> and I literally do this for 10 minutes every single morning to get him to like try and bite the cuttlefish because obviously he wants the dandelion. Good boy, Blue. I know it probably seems crazy, but it's actually been working. He's been biting on it, and I feel like that's like the only way that I can get him to actually eat the cuddle bone. So if you guys have any better suggestions other than tricking him, let me know. There you go, baby. I'm sorry. You can finish eating now. So this is the painter's tray that I told you guys I bought for him for his water, but... He doesn't like it. He never goes in there or anything. So I'm gonna be taking it out today. I honestly don't think that he's gonna ever use it. I don't know if he's scared to or if he just prefers to just get his weekly soap. So I'm probably gonna be taking this out, but it really sucks because I need a water dish for him. So I'm still on the hunt. If you guys have any water dish ideas for Blue, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't worry, we're gonna be upgrading his setup very, very soon. If you guys are concerned about that, don't worry. We're gonna be upgrading, but honestly, I think I'm about to take this out because this water has been in here for two days untouched like he just isn't even interested and he can just continue to get his water metabolically and through that and that's fine he's so cute i just could watch him all day okay guys that is it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed watching me take care of my pets for my morning routine again this is just what i do in the mornings night times are completely different and i feed all the other animals I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell down below. If you do not already follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I will put that on the screen for you. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.